okay, we're back. And DSC Europe is special because it, beginning, it begins, I mean, the, 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 the ceremony of opening is in the middle of the conference, which started on Monday. So why is it that way? I'm going to ask Alexander Linz Georgievich, uh, your representative, the main organizer, to explain. Alexander, please come to the stage and tell us a few things about this. Hello, everyone. So, uh, basically, like uh, my dear friend, uh, I, I can call you friend, I think, Zoran, so far, uh, who helped us a lot. Uh, yeah, the, the conference is very, very, like, sp specific. Why specific? Because uh, we tend to be the Europe's leading in data happening. When you say that, uh, we truly do believe that. Uh, we believe that uh, you can talk about technology in many different aspects. You can talk about the passion. You can talk about the people. In the end, every st story about technology is a story about some people who developed that technology. So, some, something that was like truly remarkable and make it uh, totally something new in the history of humankind. Regarding the uh, conference, what we wanted to do, we wanted to bring the world in Belgrade. That was our promise we made nine years ago when we started the DSC conference for the first time in Belgrade in Dom Omladine, Beograd. It was a very small conference, local conference for 250 people. Right now, nine years after that, we have our conferences, not only in Belgrade, but also we have our conference in Vienna, our conference in Zagreb, our conference in Miami, and we are starting our conference in Cairo, uh, Maya, uh, Cairo Paris, as well as, the, as the, we are exploring opportunity for the Middle East as well. Uh, being said that, what we want also, what we uh, managed to do uh, in, in, the, uh, in this process was that uh, we bring Belgrade to the world. What I truly do believe, and I, tr and I, I can uh, stand bef behind this was like 100% uh, uh, 100 of the time, is that Belgrade, and not only Belgrade, but the whole Balkan actually, when we are talking about that, we need to understand that the, the, that the borders as they are, they don't exist when we are developing technology. There are many remarkable people who are doing a lot of cool stuff, a lot of unbelievable stuff, and they are really passionate about it. And I think that that's the key word I would like to, to, to basically present here. That's passion for technology. We need to understand that uh, when we are talking about the, the conference, conference is basically five days, three days of live event. This is some of the numbers of the conference, 500 speakers. Being a conference with 500 speakers has become the largest AI event worldwide by the number of speakers. The next, uh, the next conference is basically in the Las Vegas with 400 speakers. So you can imagine what kind of magnitude this event can have, the impact that it can have, and the impact we would like to create together with every one of you. We cannot do that by ourselves as an organization. We only have 25 people, but 3,000 attendees who are basically coming here during these five days, they are the ones who are making the change. They are the ones who are in the driving seat. They are the one who is going to be remembered as a pioneer of developing AI. And we are talking about AI, we need to understand that we do live in the era of AI. And we, when we say that, we need to understand that this world has a lot of responsibility, a lot of obligation, and a lot of, a lot of things that we need to understand and to accept while we are developing technology. In the end, technology is not good or bad, it's agnostic. It's how we, human, are using this technology. We need to understand that everyone, from developers to decision makers, and also decision influencers as well, we have responsibility to create the world we would like to see. And basically, that's one of the main motives of the conference, that we truly do believe that we can change the world to data. When we say that, this is our vision of the conference, and what does it mean? We mean that we, we are the ones who can create the world we would like to live in. Nobody else. This, we are the responsible one and we are the in charge, nobody else. We can say and we can hide behind some old mantras or some tradition, something like that. Or we can be bold at some of our predecessors and try to be explorers, explorers 21st century. This is only the first frontier AI. We still have a, a lot of to do. We have a race with, race with the space, as somebody said long ago. But basically, that's how we as a human race, we need to, like, how we are built and what we are doing. We are pioneers. We are researchers. We are the ones who are very curious, and we want to learn things. We want to talk with people. We are very empathic. We are very, like, common. We are very humble. That's what the, the traits of the human beings are. And being said that, AI is nothing, doing nothing more than just revealing 
the true nature of something. Is everything fine? Is everything perfect? No, of course not. Is everything going to be perfect any kind, any time in the world? No, that's not possible. You know, the thing is, when we're talking about perfection, perfection is a killer of satisfaction in the end. Also, like somebody said, famous, famous writer. But the thing is, we need to learn how to enjoy, how to still reach to the kid inside ourselves and to play with technology. With this kind of approach, I can, I can guarantee you that we will create something unbelievable. Right now, we are talking about, and I can see a people who are developing these kind of things even in Serbia, regarding the early detection of cancer for the, for the breast. So basically, two and a half thousand females, women can be saved every year if we deploy AI models. So basically, can you imagine that change that we can do with simple technology to save every year two and a half thousand women every year, only in Serbia? Can we imagine what is the number worldwide? That is like the change we would like to see. That is the change we would like to call everyone here present to understand the responsibility on the first place and on the second place, what, what can we do for the future, future and the, for the whole human race. Being said that, uh, this is my short welcoming speech. I would like to welcome you all to Belgrade. I would like to welcome you all to DST conference once more. And I would like to basically uh, welcome you uh, to this uh, new, newly renovated Sava Center, which is basically one of the big, biggest symbols of Belgrade. So with this, I would like to just have one big round of applause. <laughs> also, like I said, the conference is doing every year a little bit something new, and we are trying to expand on the different parts of the people and different sponsors. So I would first like to uh, call uh, our uh, representative, our platinum sponsor, the World Bank, Nikola Pontara, the World Bank country manager for Serbia, to join me at the stage and give his uh, speech. Thank you so much, Nikola, for joining us.